Hello and welcome to Nerdy on Real Dev. And today we're going to be looking at the skylight. Now, the skylight, despite its name, can be used in interior scenes. And essentially what it does is it takes light from either the scene itself or a cube map and sort of bounces it around to give more realistic shadows. Um, now, you can uh, insert the cube map here. This is good for if, say, you have outdoor scenes where you need um, specific lighting. But what we're looking at here is a gray box of an interior scene, so please excuse any and all Z fighting, um, with some experimental lighting going on. Now, here are some really important settings. I won't go over all of the skylight settings. These are just the ones that'll help improve your lighting. But one of the important ones is the sky distance threshold. And right here Unreal tells you that it's the distance from the skylight at which any geometry should be treated as part of the sky. This is also used by reflection captures. So update reflection captures to see the impact. Um, now, right now, it's set pretty far away because generally in outdoor scenes, the sky is pretty far, far away. But if you want to bounce light around in an interior scene, you just bring down the sky distance. It should be noted that if your um, mobility is set to static for some reason, um, it won't work as well. But if it's at stationary and movable, not only will the skylight be able to do more, but it will also be more greatly affected by this. At least that's what I found. I could be wrong. So, after that, you do have the intensity scale. So, if you, like, bring it way up, uh, it's going to be very intense with the light. Or you could bring it to like 0.5 and we'll just give the default auto exposure a second. And the light it bounces around won't be as strong. Uh, the default is set at 1. Now, an interesting thing that might affect how much light is being bounced around is the light color. So if you bring this down to black or gray, the light color changes. It gets darker. So if, say, you're working on a scene that just feels brighter than it should be, uh, you can adjust the light color. Uh, I've done this for scenes that the player still needed to see, but uh, it needed the dark atmosphere. Though that was also in conjunction with a bunch of other settings. So between that and the intensity scale, which it's really a lot easier to type in numbers, you can get pretty dark looking scene that you can still see the light bouncing around. It should be noted, I also have screen space global illumination on, which is another tool that Unreal has that really helps with the more realistic lighting. Um, you also have indirect uh, lighting contribution, which it can be at zero or one or greater than one. It, depending on your lighting setup, uh, you'll see what's going on. Um, volumetric scattering, scales with intensity and light color, Again, this is one of those things that um, how much you see, how much it affects depends on the scene. This is an extremely simple scene because I mainly wanted to show uh, these three settings. And you also have all these ray tracing, um, samples per pixel, which the more you have, the more samples but that may also affect brightness. 
Sadly, my graphics card doesn't let me test out the ray tracing things. So that's the basics of the skylight. Hopefully that helps. Uh, please subscribe and consider donating to my coffee. Have a good one.